Hey there, and welcome to the Guitar Tricks channel. My name is Anders, and I'll be your host today. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future lessons. The tip this week is to not always wait till a couple beats into the solo before you start your ideas. Because sometimes you want to lead into the solo from a couple beats before it starts. And kicking in the door like that will make your solo sound confident and like you know what you're doing, even if you don't. In this lesson, I'm going to show you a soloing concept that has the potential to really open up your creativity when you improvise and help you avoid simply reciting your old licks note for note again and again. And the simple concept is to remind yourself to play notes more than once. Sounds obvious, but so many of us forget to do it, and it really does open up your creativity once you start actively thinking about it. Let me show you how it works. First, let's pick a key. Let's say we're in B minor, and you have your standard blues rock pentatonic comfort zone right here. And in order to keep it simple, I'll use a really standard blues rock lick for the example. But remember that you can use this approach with any lick in any style of music. And for our basic lick, you're going to bend up on the G string, roughly a half step, and then kill it at the top of the bend. Then you bar across the B and E string with your first finger, and pick the B and then the E string, so. Good old Chuck Berry. Then we pick the B string again, so now we have. And all that's left to do now is to bend up a whole step with either your pinky or your third finger from the 10th fret of the B string. Add a little vibrato if you can. So the whole lick sounds like this. Very standard. Now, of course, the lick sounds good like that, but obviously it would get pretty boring to just play it like that again and again. So that's where our phrasing trick comes in, which is to actively remind yourself while you're playing to play notes more than once. First, let's try repeating that first bend. Sounds pretty cool already. Or you can pick it differently. Ton of ideas just from that. It's kind of like you're building tension with a bend and then resolving it with the rest of the lick. Now let's try and combine that with repeating the last bend as well. You can also repeat the notes in the bar. Pretty useful, right? Now take some time to apply this concept to your most tired old cliche licks and see how many new ideas you can get out of them. Because this concept is to prove that it's not how much you know, it's what you do with it that counts. That's it for this week's channel episode. I hope you're excited to go improvise and make some new music with your old tools. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button for more great videos and also feel free to like or share this lesson with your friends. Have fun with it and I'll see you next time. Thank you.